Hi, my name is David. I wanted to invite you to watch as we try to repair the sustained pedal on our uh, piano. We've uh, noticed uh, over the last several months that as we play the piano, the uh, keys that would normally be uh, held out in the notes when we press down the right hand or sustained pedal uh, are not held out. So we knew something was wrong, but didn't know for sure what was wrong. And uh, tonight we're going to uh, attempt to fix it if it is something that we can fix. To show you what uh, we've noticed as we played, uh, for those that aren't pianists or maybe that are, we uh, have found out that our notes, when we press the sustained pedal, which is the right hand or right foot pedal, don't continue to play. So something's wrong with that pedal in the mechanism to keep it from holding out the notes as it's supposed to. So we're going to try to find out what the problem is and repair it tonight. Our first step in this repair of the sustain pedal is to uh, access the mechanism that uh, enables the pedal to do what it's designed to do. In the case of this piano, what we have to do is reach under the keyboard area and uh, you see this cover here, figure out exactly how it's supposed to come off. It appears to me that what we need to do is pinch back these little spring clips and when we do, I think it probably will uh, just pull up out of there. So let's try that. See there's the spring clip there. And what you do is you press up on it and there's a spring clip here, same thing. Press up on it and it should uh, release it to be able to be pulled out. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Alright. Now you have an eye as to what might be the problem. Let's look here. Here's the pedal mechanism. Notice the soft pedal has a place where you press with your foot and then this arm, other uh, parts of the mechanism down here and this arm and then it's connected to a rod that goes up here out to a place out of sight. Lo and behold the sustain pedal has the same design, but the rod is missing. Where is the rod? Lo and behold, looky here. Here is the rod. It has fallen down inside. And it looks like that something is missing. This little tip, metal tip, and a kind of a rubber grommet sort of thing is on one end, but it's got a hole and no metal tip and rubber grommet on this end, so something's missing. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, here it is. Right there. Now, Next thing we need to do is find out where it connects up above and how we are to reconnect it. We have to look around here and see what we can find. Okay, I see a good possibility right here. I don't know if our camera can come up in there and see. If you look up there, this, let's see if I can feel it from under, back here, where is it? Right here. This piece right here, there's a hole in it. I suspect that the rod is to go up through that. Figure out how to do it though is the next thing. 
I would su suggest and suspect that probably that it's a pretty close tolerance as to uh, the distance between here and up at the top on the rod. So therefore, uh, you're gonna have to get it pretty close and maybe even uh, hold your mouth right, so to speak, in order to uh, get it in and not break something. The rod is pretty, pretty sturdy, but I don't wanna bend it in the process and it, in that way warp something or distort something. So I'm gonna try my best to figure out a, a way to get it in. What I think might be the best way is to put this end up above at that bracket that we saw underneath and put it in place and then this pin slide in from below right here in this hole on the arm and press it up into the bottom of the rod, the hole that's there, and reconnect it. And we'll see if that works. Let's just see. So we're gonna have to get down in here and find out where we are. Here we go. We're feeling it pretty well, yeah. Okay, if, if the pin was in place, this would be the way it was supposed to be right there. The pin was in place. The pin's not in place, so what I've got to do is press the pin in from below. Let's see if we can. No, that's not going to work. The reason how I know that is the black grommet is on the top side of the arm, not the underneath side. So, what do we do? We've got to pull the black grommet off. This is where I need to grab my other tools. A pair of pliers. I'll hold on to the rod, pull the grommet off. There we go. Now, what I think we're going to need to do this time actually to get the job done is set the grommet down in the hole here on the arm, press it down in there. Looky there, it fits very nicely, okay? I wonder, by the way, if that might be a part of the problem, if the grommet is worn, the lip is worn and therefore it uh, broke off or fell through. Looks like the grommet might be kind of worn there. So let me think about this. Let's just give it a try. Put the grommet back down in there. Get my rod end on the top end. There. And now, I'm going to see if we can press the rod, the steel rod, up through the arm into the bottom of the wooden rod. Getting my hands up in there is the hard part. And lining it up if I need to. tested. It's moving. See it? See there's the 
action of the rod moving, the arm moving when I press down. So looks like that's what we needed to do. Let's see what we get now. I think we got it fixed. Last step to uh, completing the project, of course, is to put the cover back uh, underneath. So we'll do that here fairly quickly. Notice uh, if we can grab out my flashlight that uh, this uh, cover is held in along the bottom with one, two, three, four steel pins. One, two, three, four. That, of course, uh, go up inside little holes that are underneath here. And we'll, uh, if we can get them lined up properly, uh, we should be back in business. Now we just pop it back in past those little clips. All right, we're good. Thanks for watching.